Tonight, the family of this 20-year-old from Mission Valley is frantic for any information on their son, who disappeared almost two weeks ago while on a trip to San Francisco. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. His mother hasn't seen him since uh, dropping him off at Lindbergh Field, and she says he never showed up to work. Tenders reporter Dan Haggerty is live in El Cajon with the last time anyone saw Christian Hughes. Dan. Yeah, he worked here at this Taco Bell on El Cajon Boulevard. They haven't heard from him. You mentioned his mom hasn't spoken to him. She dropped him off at the airport on the 5th of this month to fly to San Francisco. Right now, police there and here in San Diego consider this a missing persons case. Christian Hughes is supposed to be back home here in San Diego. He went to visit friends in San Francisco early this month. Then, with no car, hardly any money, and with a dead cell phone, disappeared. We want him back because he doesn't do this. He doesn't just go. Over the weekend, a search party walked the Bay neighborhood where he was last seen. We've got two groups that are tackling the main street. 10 News spoke to Hughes's mother. She says a friend told her that the night before his flight home, Hughes packed up all of his stuff and left. She's in San Francisco now, going door to door. Remember him. She also started this Facebook page, Help Find Christian Hughes. He's very passionate about everything he does. He's responsible, he works, you know, he loves animals, and he's just full of life. She told me that her son has recently had some health issues and surgeries and lost his father in September on his birthday. But despite a difficult past six months, he didn't have the means to just run away. Christian, call your mom, please. I'm worried sick. I miss you terribly. I just need to hear that you're okay. I love you. So a very worried mother there. And there was a possibility that Hughes got on the plane, flew back to San Diego, and just never told anyone about it. The family told me tonight they found out that that is not the case. They believe he still is in the San Francisco area. We'll let you know what more we find out about this. His family lives in Mission Valley. We'll keep you updated. For now, reporting live, I'm Dan Haggerty, 10 News.